Okay, awesome stuff. Welcome, 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 everybody. Guys, if you can hear me loud and clear, just drop it in the chat. Just drop it in the comments right now uh, and say that you can hear me loud and clear. Guys, uh, I'm going to take some time. I'm going to go over the markets uh, today and look at what the market has for us this week. Ideas that you can look at. So let's get into them. Um, okay. Uh, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Just need one person to say yes. Okay, cool stuff. Uh, let's continue. Uh, hope that I am not ready. Let's continue. Now, there's a couple of things that we want to look at today. Uh, first of all, we want to look at the economic level. Uh, we want to look at what the market has for us today. We're going to open, to open the open market, open the, the economic calendar uh, right now so that you can look at the things that we have today. Let's see. So in terms of the news items today, for those of you guys um, who are here on this uh, session, please do note that I uh, did mention this. We are having a class engagement this coming Saturday and I already have, I think uh, the seats are almost full. I think uh, I have one or two seats left uh, for Let's look into what the market has for us this week, or not this week, actually, today, and then let's trade the market. So I think, I think, I think it's, I think it's the screen of the chair. Awesome stuff. Now, let's get into uh, let's get into the real stuff. Let's get into oh, to the market. Let's get into what the market has for us today. Let's look into what has already happened. We have already received some news from Japan uh, earlier this morning, and, uh, and also in Britain, uh, those were the numbers. Then we did have some news uh, some minutes ago. From South Africa, uh, gold production year on year and mining production, which is looking very bad according to the previous results that we had. It is for me, it is very bad, right? Now, what are we looking at uh, this coming afternoon or this afternoon? We are looking in the next 45 minutes, minute, one o'clock, something, something like that. We are looking at a manufacturing production. Um, month on month and manufacturing production for the month of August. Uh, I personally think that if we, okay, uh, let's see how, how, how do we have, uh, what, what figures do we have later on? But I think that we are going to have some negative news uh, on the end, I suppose. But we will have a look at what's happening. And then there's also, other things going on later on, like jobs, job openings, uh, and then, uh, some speeches later uh, to look out for, which are less important, not too important, right? So let's get into the market and start sharing what do we have in the market today, right? So I'm going to start off with Euro USD. Uh, Euro USD, to be honest with you, there's nothing much going on in Euro USD, except that we are on a uh, bearish market, right? What we want to do on this one? This is a one hour time frame. I'm going to start off in a bigger time frame and just look at a four hour time frame. Uh, what's going on for our time frame? Things are very bearish. Uh, daily time frame, very bearish, right? I mean, we are looking to, let's look into selling into this market short term. 
wanna uh, sell into this market, uh, you know, move to, towards the downside. We already have seen the structure looking more like this. Uh, this market do, does not honor this structure, meaning that we might have markets moving towards the downside, right? But um, to really look into that, let's look at the very mid chart. We do have some higher highs and high lows that are very important to also consider in this market. Higher highs and higher lows um, in this market. So for me, if you wanna buy, if you wanna buy on this market, you wanna buy here around this zone. But another thing that I'm realizing, that I'm seeing is that even though we have these high highs and high lows, there's something that you know thing is giving us. This idea, this idea of this kind of a market, right? This bearish channel that we are having here, uh, for me, uh, the best thing that we can do here is look into trading this one at the retracement probably, right? Let's look at the retracement. Okay, so we did go all the way up to 61.8, which is a good retracement. And I think we are very late in terms of selling here. If you wanna sell into this market, we are very late. But we, what we can do is wait for market to come back to this level once again, 61.8, this level. Uh, this level so we can have the sound here then i'm gonna put this at 996 right And I'm gonna put that to profit very, very well. That's 15 and eight. So it's the best of us gonna be 15 and six. Looking at the profit at 15. Okay, it is modified. Uh, let me check the master. So this is very huge. I'm going to be dragging it. So it's here. So there are eight or nine cubes. Okay. But the market is already, is already moving on this one. We're not gonna chase it, we're just gonna observe, okay? Now, USDCHF, we're looking at USDCHF for a while. Is this structure that I want us to keep, for, keep an eye on? Uh, if you point at any time frame, you know that USDCHF is in a bullish market, right? For our time frame, still very bullish, right? But there is this particular structure that I've drawn, you know, I've drawn these lines, uh, since we missed a buy very low here around these zones, uh, we need to look out for a breakout on this zone. Breakout here, and the retest will mean a lot to us. How should that breakout look like? It should look like this. Um, then continue to the top side. Right? This is how I'm looking at this market. This is how I'm looking Now, uh, the, the reason why we don't buy now is because the market hasn't broken out. There is a high chance that since it hasn't broken out, it can continue to us again, say, okay, so that may be one of the factors, that one, one of the possibilities of things that are 
Mm. Yeah. Let's look at GPSD. I think this is a chart that I'm looking at very, very big, you know, very, very with a close eye. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sell GPSD now. I'm gonna TM. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna sell GPSD now. So if you are here, you're selling GPSD. What do you say? Stop loss. This mark right here. Now, why are we selling here? Obviously, yes, we have seen that the market is very bullish right on our time frame. But if you look at it for our time frame, we do have a structure that has failed, right? Uh, a very, it has been a market that has been pushing to us. For me, this is the structure, right? This is how I'm doing this market. If you put it this way, so um, I still believe that this right here is has been a retracement that market is used uh, to change direction. So if you look at like this, you can see that market went all the way up to the 78.6, right? Then now we are below the 61.8, 61.8, and we continue all the way down. So this can be our take profit for now. So where is our take profit and where is our So we do have our order taken, just taken and sell order now. But our stop loss is at 1.36271. And our take profit is at 1.3533, right? That is uh, what's going on. And then uh, we are looking you know, to just sell this whole piece down here. Now, if you are selling in the market, remember, if you are selling in the market, right? We've got two currencies. We've got the currency on the left, then we've got the currency on the right. The currency on the left is called A, base currency, then the currency on the right is called the quote currency, right? So if we are selling in the market, we are saying the quote currency will receive strength over the base currency, right? So that means that should be clear. Uh, let me just see. Okay. <laughs> so when we are selling, that's what we're doing uh, in a market. We, when we are selling, we are saying the put currency is going to gain strength against the uh, the base currency. So that's what we are predicting. Uh, uh, right now. Okay, let's look at some other opportunities that we might have. Uh, let's look at gold. Right? Uh, it's like a different idea on gold. So uh, let's look at gold for our time frame. We right? you know that the market has been very bearish, right? Very bearish. Uh, but we know we also have estimated the, the you know that this cycle, this cycle has come to an end, right? Uh, because markets came down to this. This is a very beautiful feed level. Then markets came all the way up, then traced to the downside. This is a beautiful feed level. Then uh, this is what we did. How we broke out, right? And came back into structure. So what to what to look out for here? Uh, this now at the resident uh, is has a high chance of pushing towards the downside until we get to support once again, right? Now when we get to support, we might break towards the downside and then test and break out. Right? If that doesn't happen. Then we are going to be breaking out, retesting, then continue, right? Uh, we would have bought here yesterday, but the thing is, for me, it was Monday. I was like, no, I 
Rwanda trust me very tight traditional. <laughs> so at the moment, what is happening in the market? The moment the market is adjusted, we can just expect to break out from the top side. Obviously, uh, okay, this is the resident that I wanted us to look at before we take a trade here. This is the beautiful structure. There is a beautiful structure. The market is some sort of ranging here, creating lower highs but constant lows, meaning that there is high chance that the Sellers may win this war. It's high chance. Sellers may win this war because they have been pushing, pushing. But if they don't, the buyers are going to start shooting. Okay, good stuff. Um, do we have any other thing? We don't GBP. GBP. PCHS, AD, and the D. CHS, CHS, we are waiting for that to be taken to the level. USD is Some negative news came through this morning. So, Let's see. Okay, we know that this market has this separate certified I think it's Mr. Joshua who has this identified. I had a very start to this side, which was very clear. Um, now, this right here. Go back to a four hour time frame. Look, uh, it's something like this. Even though we do have these structures, right? Even though we, even though we do have this video, I mean, this, these structures, I don't know what this is. Even though we do have these structures uh, right here, there's still a very high chance. Now, these structures for me tell us that uh, it's going to push all the way down. Right? Push all the way down. Uh, if it doesn't, then we're going to see a breakout just to the side. Let's see what the mining production has for us, how, what results do we get in the next few minutes? Uh, minutes from now. Uh, this market to choose to go where it is at uh, 78.6. That's what I mean. But, anyways, we are not the market makers. We are doing it just to see where, where it's going to be. Uh, if markets push us to that side here, we can sell you to that. Markets push us to that side, we could be very interested. Good stuff. All right, uh, that's all for now. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, we are going to be discussing some trades together in the group. I'm really nice. The whole day I'm with you. Uh, even though my eyes are red, uh, <laughs> uh, I just received a bad call before the meeting. Very bad call. Okay, so if you're seeing this on YouTube, uh, I have linked some videos on this uh, uh, video. Uh, please do like and subscribe to this channel. And uh, if you are here, we are going to be talking on the I will see you on the other side of the week. It's your one and only.
Ngubat siya. Siya.